Okay, full pelters. Well, we're back in Hell's Garage. Hey, hey, hey. Um, thanks, Hell. Thanks for having me back, mate. Um, so, I've just clocked up 20,000 kilometres on the uh, DR650 Boris, and uh, I noticed that the uh, left-hand fork seal was leaking. So I brought it up to Hell's uh, Garage, and we're going to pull the forks out, change the seals. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, actually, I'll just get Hell to show you the uh, the leak on the fork. So oil leaking from <clears throat> in here. Yeah, you might be able to see a bit of fluid there, and then even down there, you can see sort of fluid is pulled down on the leg there. But yep, that's that's the issue. Okay, uh, guys, just giving you a look. So Hal's got the uh, motorcycle stand here. Strap the yeah the rear end down. Then so help. Nice yeah, so it's nice. Yeah, so you've got the back wheels clamped down the bottom, and we've got the strap either side. So that's all strapped down, and then just putting that scissor jack underneath the bike there, and winding the scissor jack up has raised the front wheel uh, where we need it. So it's nice and stable. We're going to now just quickly take off the seat, the tank, probably take off the mirrors as well because we're going to be, um, you know mucking around in that area there so we'll do that and uh, come back to you okay guys so we've just dropped the front wheel back down again because we're just loosening off these uh, top caps on the forks just uh, it's a bit easier to do that now <clears throat> I'll just hold the bar there there we go just going to release the um, speedo cable just so it's out of the way. So that just pushes in. Yep. There you go. Right, so just the location, that's where the uh, it's got a seal here. Yep. Right there, and that's where the um, the bolt or the screw oh, is located the, to lock yep, it in. In the groove there. Yep. Okay. Just cool. tuck okay. it out of the way. I'll just make note too, just of the position. Oh, get my finger out of the way. The position of this. Yep. And also the position of that. Goes through here. Okay, like so that. we're just going to um, take the front wheel yeah, out now. Yeah, just uh, release this front wheel. Next, we take the front fender off just to get it out of the way. Yep. Just make the job easier. It's a clean poop. Yeah. My yeah. <laughs> not this dirty. No, that's right. No. Places you can't get to normally. Yeah, that's right. Just check the other leg out, see if that's leaking. We're going to replace both fork seals in here and then yep. that's all done. Now it's just dry, dry. Yeah. No comparison. Yeah. 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 We're going to uh, release the uh, top pinch bolt on the triple clamp. Yep. There's one 14 mil head. Just have to loosen that. So yep. We're removing the uh, the loosening the two bottom uh, Allen bolts. Just release it. You notice I'm hanging onto the fork leg, yep. just in case it drops out. Yeah. Right. The rubbers around the bracket, the base, and at the top. 
Yep. That's hanging onto the fork leg at the moment because they're um yeah you know, they just sort of dried onto the fork leg. Yep. What do you do? Oh, that's brake cleaner. Brake cleaner. Oh, yep. Yeah, so the fork's a little bit tight. Do, oh, oh, that? I'm yeah. hanging onto the fork. Yep. So yep. that's it. Yep. Thanks, Pete. Same what we did on the uh, left side is just yep. loosen the top triple clamp, locking nut. Okay. Remember to hang on to the fork lead just in case. I do tend to drop out. Oh, this yep. one's making it a lot easier. Yep. The other thing I didn't mention is, yeah, I took note of the location where the fork lid was sitting in the triple clamp. Yeah, yep. Um, you know, I do things just because I know what I'm doing. But, um, yep. Yeah, it's pretty, it was right at the top of the fork, wasn't it? You know, exactly. this. Yep. Get you to just zap that jack up a little bit, mate. Oh, yeah, hang on. Okay. We got it out. We're waiting, these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. So as Hal was mentioning, right, at the fork went right to the um, top of this uh, the triple clamp here, so there's no there's no gap at all. So I think I'll now just go ahead and take off the uh, headlight shroud to get that out of the way, and um, <clears throat> Hal's just loosening off those clamps around the boots. So it goes well. I mean, I've just taken the shroud off and just showing you, just showing you this is where I've put a uh, 12 volt or a USB socket on my bike. I'll just lift, sorry. So, yeah, there's USB sockets right there. So it's tucked away just behind the cow. Yeah, just showing you two guys. I just replaced the spark plugs this morning. Pull this out. So your brand new spark plugs. All part of that 20,000 K service. I'll show you the speedo. There it is, what? 20,256. Oh, we've got the dogs here. Hello. There's the main foreman right there. So yeah, you can see I've taken the shroud off. There's the two wires there for the USB socket. Right now, what's next, Hal? Uh, well, we've got that. We'll get the fork legs done. Get the yep. seals done. Get the oil in. Clean them up, of course. Before yep. We put the oil in. Um, and then we'll come back to the yeah, doing the bearings. Back. Yeah. I'm just going to let okay. So the forks are over there, so we'll get into that. Here's Hal's new motorcycle. Looks pretty good. This is my open road special. <laughs> <laughs> Spare bike. See <laughs> how it works, man. This is the operation. Not too powerful, is it, Hal? Or no. you, want be, 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 you want to be careful, mate. Oh, nearly. Oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, the dogs are happy. Oh. <laughs> oh god. What do you think? God, it's quiet.
ride, isn't it? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. It's just got the single mono shock at the back. <laughs> oh, I can, there's going to be one happy grandson this Christmas. <laughs> How good is that? No, oh, no, it's just uh, all up. What's the power? Sorry guys, I just missed that, but yeah, we just undid the top cap. Alright, <clears throat> so we've got a spacer. Yep. A washer. Yep. We've got a spring. Do you want me to hold it or? No, it's okay. And if you can see the spring. Yeah, it's um, tighter. Tighter up the top. Up the here. top. You can see the gap compared down there. The that's further apart. Yep. Yep. So the tighter goes to the top. Correct. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, you can sort of see that a bit easier, maybe a sort of closer pitch. And then, well, you know, just tip the oil out. Yep. <clears throat> Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, buy. yeah. For Twenty thousand. Yeah, when I was looking at, at the leak, I thought they were all looked okay. So that's the stock oil we're getting rid of there that come with the bike. Yep, factory. So I've had it just over two years and done twenty thousand k, so it's done all right. But yeah. you guys you can see that down there. Okay, so we just put the fork in the vise. It's a pair of soft jaws down here. Yeah, hang on. So that's a what, 25 mil square tube? Yeah. Is that what it is here? Yep. yep. Galvanised 25 mil. <clears throat> and then I'm just undoing this end. <clears throat> I'll try and do it just with one hand while Hal holds that end up. It's a little bit firm. Yeah, they, they, for some reason they put Loctite on it. Yep. Um, there's no need to put Loctite on it. Yep. And just be careful there, mate. Yep, it's coming out, so... You could use a zap if you want to. <laughs> and there's that little... Pop a washer on it as well. Yep. <clears throat> so, what do you want to do, mate? Alright, this may come out with it. No, I didn't understand that. 
making a mess. Now this leg will come out. Okay, what we've got here Oh dear. Um, so that's what I'm trying to explain. Oh, yep, yep. So there's the end there. And a special tool we made up. So just your 20, uh, 25 mil. Yeah, and we just ground the corners off a bit so that fits in there yep. like that. So it stops that from spinning. Yep. Of course, the Allen screw that came out of there. Yeah. Now, on the the leg itself, it's got bushes which have got circlips on it, so that it runs true in the leg. Yep. What we need to do is take the dust seal off. Yep. Remove the clip, then we'll pull the leg out and we'll get the seal out at the same time. Yeah. Oh yeah, so there's a you got to take the clip first and then the dust seal, yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. <clears throat> Just wiggle it. I get rusted in there. Like that. Yep. That there. That's so a little bit rusty. It's a bit rusty, isn't it? Look at yeah. that. Wow. Because water must just sit in there. Yep. Yeah, this is going to put our seals out. Like that. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. So there's the culprit. It's been leaking. So you got... So you've got the dust seal yep. and the main seal. Yep. And it's the main seal that's been leaking. Yep. Yeah, so you can see this nylon-y thing there and it it's goes a on a locator. certain way. Yeah, yeah, it's a locator. So it's got a tapered end at one end and then a flat end at the other end. So that tapered end goes towards those, those yeah, oil yeah, holes. In the leg and yep. the thicker end goes to the other uh, leg. Yeah. All right. That's just the way they said. Yep. And that sits flush at the base the base of the leg. And you've got the um the base of the leg. The bolt that goes and the bolt in. holds it in there. Yep. So your house is cleaning the um you know, fork inspecting parts and inspecting this is just a, like a parts washing bay isn't it really when what are you using basically uh, well, it's a solution it's like a caro caro yep yep, yep. aviation for <clears throat> mm, we'll get some of that um yeah so what you're sort of looking for is looking at where because this is a piston that runs on the inside of the um yep. the inner fork leg yep such um, and of course you've got different little ports like that there's a little port there yep and we'll make sure we blow that out and make sure that that's not blocked yep mm -hmm. give it a good both parts so a good airing good wash um, yeah. blow it out with air and um, yeah get rid of the old oil shine a bit here Right. <clears throat> oh yeah, and what yeah, you will be able to pick that up on the camera. Yeah, you can see this is the indentation it's like a, like a, uh, sand on a beach. Yep. And you get that rippling. Yep. Um, just want to give the, the leg a very light finish. It's yep. got no indents or no um, chips in the leg. Yep. But the, you know, uh, it's just probably a got a bit, bit. of dirt. Um, Underneath the seal, which caused that seal to go, so yeah. this, uh, 
give it a bit of a, like a hone you do on a ball. You do a, a crisscross pattern with a very light 400 gray around that. Nothing harsh. Yep. It's just. So brake cleaner guys. Yep. And see that little bit of rust in there. That's where the clip goes. Yep. Oh yeah, it's just in yeah. in that first little Yeah, oh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, we'll pick up front. It's that little picker. Could be just a bit of surface rust yeah. on the clip. We'll just make sure it's clean. So, um, as I was saying, Pete, this is the um, inner uh, piston yep. uh, for the inner leg. Yep. So that runs inside here yep. and acts as a piston. And of course, most, you know, all pistons have the piston ring. So they've got a little nylon piston ring, ring here. So it's always good to check the integrity of this ring. Yep. Um, 20,000 is okay, but um, over a period of time, I've seen where these become paper thin. Or even disappear. Yeah. So Hal was so. just saying that's in it's in good nick, but that would be something maybe in next twenty thousand k when we pull these to bits maybe. Check the inspection, inspect it. May may even just replace those while you get them out. Yeah. yeah. When you replace them, you replace these two bushes as yeah. well. Uh, yeah. These bushes are in um, when I say two bushes. So there's one at the base. Yep. So that's easy enough. That just slides off. Yeah. This one here, you just got to set. Um, open it up because there is a slot in this one you can see the yeah. slot there so it'll... so the mechanics of that is that <clears throat> yep. sits in the leg like this this yep. pushes at the top near the fork seal yep. and this is down the bottom yep and of course that makes the leg run straight yep. inside the leg without going when they wear yep. the leg will let you exaggerate it's sitting in the leg and it, it goes to side to side yeah it shouldn't but that you know that's an exaggeration um, so that's when you need, and what you look for is on the inside of the bushing, you oh, look yep. for little wear marks, and this is, this bush is fine. And like the oil look really good. Um, when the oil, normally, you know, it's a, it's a colour like the red, which came out of the uh, Pete's bike. Um, when those bushes wear out, that mixes with the oil, and you'll know straight away that your bushes may be worn because the oil will be black and stinky um, yep and uh, that's an indication that you you know your, your bushes are wearing okay yep mm -hmm. so here's the seals we've got the dust seals and the uh, fork, fork seals. seals Hal's just opened one here uh, so you'll see the uh, the writing at the top yep of that seal that's uh, to go to the outside yep or up uh, and that's the, down, oh, yeah, the inside yep, yep. And uh, with that, we don't want to um, put the, the seal in dry. Yep. So we just spray a little bit of silicon around there. Yep. A little bit around there, and also to slide where the seal goes into here. Yep. Just spray a touch of silicon there. We cleaned out all, all the Yeah, dust. that's all been cleaned and yep. brake cleaned. Um, yep. And that's absolutely immaculate on the inside. Beautiful. Okay, so first of all, so this is a dampening rod, isn't it? Yep. So to assemble it, put that spring back on the dampening rod. Rebound spring, yep. Yep, the rebound spring, yep. So it's just that. That, into here. Yep, yep, spring. So in reverse order. Uh, yep, so the bush goes on first. The washer. seal make sure it's the right way up right there dust seal make sure the dust seals the correct way as well we've got the piston in and the plunger that's all in there 
Yep. And then the in locator. Yep. Is on. And it should the be flush. <clears throat> then I grab the lock. So that's with the leg fully down. We had that at the ready. Yep. And we get our special tool. Yep, 25 by 25, then I ground down the edges. Yeah, just sad that it seemed to make a difference, didn't oh, it? Oh, it did. Okay, so. So you've got it there. So just putting the bit of pipe in the end there. Yep. So again, we'll just tighten this up. Got the torque wrench already set, and we'll torque this up to spec. Just looking at the book there, guys. It's saying the damping rod bolt, 30 newton meters, 21 and a half foot pound. Yep. Done. Roger. Go. Yeah, we've got to get the seal down into its home. The main seal. Yep. Uh, that's the dust seal. Yep. And there's the main seal. Yep. Alright. What we do there is we grab so the just put the old seal back on. Onto the top. So you can see that the old seal has gone down yep. from the lip. We'll just bring that up a bit. There's the old seal and the new seal's in place at home. Yep, how do you know it's it's gone down to oh, the you can, correct Yeah, you can definitely um, tell it's gone down. It's yep. all the way home. Yep. There. Okay. All right. In the dust seal, and you'll see the retainer for the retainer clip. Yep, yep. The dust seal went in quite easily. Yep. You'll hear that click in, which I, I did, but just to check. Yep. Make sure it goes right into its home, which it is. Some people try to spin it so it goes around. No need for that. Yep, it's fully retained into its recess. It's not going anywhere. There's a little locator just there, just above my finger. Yep, just so it's a protrusion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that protrusion lines up, lines up with that little uh, indent there. So, so you can't muck this up. You can't have it up the wrong way, can you? No. Because uh, uh, it slides in this um, yeah, slot as well. Yeah, it marries up with the, the shape and the profile of the yeah. fork lead. Yep. And yeah, look, I'll take that out and you'll hear it go slot, slot, that's it. Yep. Yep. In. Yep. No other way. Yep. Simples. <laughs> How many mils? 565. 565 mils. Yeah. Right. Let's get into it. So, using the Motul fork oil 10 weight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in we go. 
Well, don't drink it. I've got a mark down there. Here we go. Right there. It looks good. So we roughly measured it out, 565mm there, but we've also got our little syringe uh, set up here as well, and that's set to 164mm yep. depth, so we'll be using that as well, so we'll just throw that in. Alright, so 164mm is when the leg is extended, of course, it's oh, when it's fully Okay, so when compressed. it's fully compressed, we'll put the oil in and then measure it. Yep. So the spring's not in there yet. That looks, the oil looks black from this side. Yeah, it was clean when it came out. Yeah. Different colour. Yeah. I can see that, guys. No, that sounds like a procedure I had before my colonoscopy recently. Way too much information. Okay. You mute that out. He hasn't put it quite all the oil in, but is that getting like any air bubbles or anything yeah, out? Yep, yep, getting the oil circulated. All right, a little bit of oil to go. So here's your, your fork oil levelling tool. Distance between here and here yep, is fence. 164, that's yep. it's flat. From the, from the DR650 manual it says that. And if we're going to be sucking the oil, we know that there's oils too, too high. Much. Yep. So I'm just Slowly pushing on this and syringing. Yep. And you can see in the survey there's a bit of oil coming out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you heard it, heard it go boop. That means, yeah, that's the amount of oil. Now the oil is at spot on the correct level inside the fork lid. Okay, yep. Alright. Interesting to see how much oil we've got here. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't look much here. But you know, when you're pumping it out, it looks like a lot. Oh, okay. okay. So we're just putting yep. the spring in, and again, the closer pitch spring at the top with these standard springs. Pick all the way up. Yep. Now we can take the lid out. The device. Side down there. You can see this. Washer on first. Spacer. Then this. Yep, hang on, I'll just. Right. Hands in the way. Spacer. Yep. And then the cap. cap. Okay, so yep, holes go to the back, and you got a little production line here. Yep. So holes to the back, you know. The and I'm going to put that clip on first. Yep. 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 So the clip sits on here, like that. Yep. Down there for now. Yep. And then that 
goes around there like that. And then tightened up. So I'm just getting that line, that oh, molding yep. line molding in, the, line in the, the middle. Yeah, yep. So that the holes at the back are in the middle. Yep, which is at the will be the, the lowest point yep. when it's the bike's just standing. So any water will hopefully drain out. Bit of silicon spray to make it all shiny. Not good. Yep. Okay, so we're just starting on the uh, what is it? The what was this? The right hand side or left hand? Left yeah. hand. Uh, yeah, this is right, the right hand side. Right hand side. Yep. <clears throat> so this is the good, good, good leg. This one. So we've got this in the vise, but Hal was just saying this section of the fork leg actually sits up in the triple clamp. It's in soft drawers. Yeah. Yeah, but there, just to be sure. Alright. Yep. It's off. <clears throat> okay, where are we? Cap. Cap. Spacer. Spacer. Washer that dropped. So, cap, spacer, washer. Spring. Take the spring out. Again, the closer pitch to the top. Fork oil. That looks still looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks similar. <laughs> Now before we pulled this apart, mm -hmm. I just sort of compared the spring action to the old one as to compared to our new one just sitting there ready to go. And with the new oil in the in the in that uh, what is it? The, that one, that one there, it um, seemed to be rebounding a, a bit slower than the the stock one with the oil in it. So maybe the oil in that has lost a bit of its Viscosity or whatever. That's the word. The B word. Yeah. So we'll see once we get this one all done and compare it to the other one how it feels. Just put, I'm going to clamp this leg into the um, vise. I just yeah, want just to, protecting uh, those studs. Yeah, protecting the studs and giving me a good flat clamping area. Oh, yep. And there is a, an arrow on that uh, piece too, you can see right there, yeah. which tells you that that's up. That's you right. See the arrow. Okay, we're just undoing this. And Oop. Again, we're just going to take the clip out. Now, is that is there any rust on that? Yeah, a little bit. Yep. So that little nylon y thing still in the um, yeah. lower leg. Yep. So just sliding off the seals, dust seal on the main seal. Main oil seal. So they always stick together. Yep. And then there's a washer. Bushing. Dampening rod and the spring. Don't forget the spring. 
Okay, inspected. we've cleaned all the uh, parts on this. Cleaned. Yep, cleaned, inspected. Yep, all this, uh, all the parts for this Finish second leak. A little bit. Didn't need yep. much finishing. Yep. Um, okay, so, so the dampening rod, yeah. Dampening rod with the return spring. With the re with the return spring on it. So spring, so that just slides down there like that. Yep. And a little nylony thing that can only go one it. way. Goes on the end. Yep. Um, push in. Oh yep. So there's two. then the washer. Yep. Then we put a bit of silicon around in here. Oh yep. The seal. Just all slides together. Then we bring out our special okay. tool. The bolt goes in the bottom. I was holding the other end up there. Okay. It's in the vise. We'll tighten it up and uh, oh yeah, we can give it a crack. So again, Hal's holding the other end up there. So same as the first one, obviously. 30 newton meters torque will be set on this. So we'll go through all that process of tightening it up and uh, we'll go we've back. just got the new seals now, the oil seal and dust seal. Hal's just giving it another coat of silicon. Knock that one in first so that the old seal's coming on. And using the uh, humongous shifter. seal and it goes check if we've got lip which we have and then the uh, spring all right i'll bring you back okay so we've just put the oil in the fork we've put the spring in so now we're just finishing it off now so the washer goes in first then the spacer and then we've got to try and get this end cap on. All right, I'll bring you back when it's done. So we'll just nip that up, and then once it's uh, back in the bike, we'll tighten it up. Yeah, I just put a bit of silicon on this. Oh. Uh, uh, it's the um, whole frame bracket. And we've got a rubber grommet here. Yep. And yeah, when you're putting the fork leg in, um, sometimes they bind up and make, make the job Difficult. a bit harder. So just spraying a bit of silicone in there. So yep. we're about to put yep. the, the right leg on. Nip them up. Just get the right level. That's it there.
Okay. Yep. It's just snipped up. So what we've got is the um, we've got the fork cap, then you've got the start of the inner leg. The inner leg, the start of the inner leg, should be level with the top of the triple clamp. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> We're just looking at the looking at the specs, guys. Doing up these bolts here. E, e is twenty six newton meters. Drawing up. Either the way. So just nipping up the clamps for the boots. And we'll uh, put to the bottom one. So now we've just got to do the top two now. Yep. I'm just tighten up the clamps for the boot. And we'll do the top as well. So we're just going ahead and we'll do uh, the top two uh, bolts and they're torqued to 29 newton meters. Disc pads a bit. Maybe oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we've got the disc in, the bolts aren't tight, these two bolts here for the, the caliper. A bit, a bit more strength in the front end. But we're just... I'll put that in, put the uh, axle in and I'll bring you back. Okay, the axle's going in. And these four here is 10 newton meters. Uh, this is their torque setting. And the sequence is to tighten the two bottom ones first and then the two top ones. With the arrow going up. And there is a little arrow no, uh, right where Hal's finger is. Uh, can you see that arrow? Yep. yep. That looks yep. Like so just angle. make sure that when you're putting this in, yep. yeah, that that's pointing sort of fairly rear. On the other side of the lug. Yeah. Yep, there are, is a lug down in there. So yeah, it's 65 newton meters. Is that right? Yep. There you go. Yep. Okay, so Hal's just setting the uh, torque wrench for those four smaller nuts there. So 10 newton meters for those. Uh, the only other thing we've got to do is tighten up the two caliper um, bolts here. <clears throat> four bolts for the uh, front fender. And then put the headlight shroud on. And then the fuel tank and seat. And then we're done. So we'll go ahead and do all of that, and I'll bring you back. We're just putting the speedo cable back. Yep, yep. Got people making sure that it goes home all the way. Yeah. So just spin the wheel while you're putting a bit of oh, pressure yeah. on it, and, and then, then it clicks goes in. Clicks in, it goes home. Yeah. And all then right? we've just got to put the screw back in there to hold it in. Hundred percent. Okay, mate. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah Happy with that? Yeah. Feels good. Yep. Yeah, it feels like a. Yeah. Job done. Yeah. It should be good, nice and shiny, it looks good. Yeah. Alright guys, hope you got something out of that. Uh, first time I've done the forks. So um, yeah, pretty pleased with how that's all turned out. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Will do. <laughs>